The highest priority of any intelligent, highly developed civilization to some extent will be the goal to control all astrophysical events in certain universes, constantly editing and updating its parameters by modifying any celestial objects ranging from entire galactic clusters to the formation of the landscape on a selected planet or regulating the temperature of a certain star. It is quite obvious that for this to be possible at all, the development of space technologies and astrophysics must be the main prerogative of a thriving civilization in space. Space is not waiting for anyone, and as you know, the universe has its own development plan. The problem for humanity is that the universe itself is not humanoid-centric, as it is imagined by a person or a representative of any other young biologically intelligent life form, accustomed to placing itself at the center of the cosmic world order. Beyond the screen of overblown narcissism, Newly developing civilizations that have barely managed to leave their own heavenly cradle will begin to realize that the circle of life in space is gradually closing and something needs to be done about it. Being on Earth, here and now in a world that is fragmented by ethnocentric, racial, cultural, gender and worldview wars, like many other visionary science fiction writers before me, I look at the stars and realize how far this civilization is from what it can be in outer space. Humanity is simply not able to take care of its planet, which feeds it, or wants to colonize Mars in an ethnocentric perspective, instead of trying to realize that space is a space that is not a sandbox where you need to play who will put the flag of your country on the surface of a particular castle faster. Space is a place that is available for the development of only a united civilization and the only flag that can and should put humanity on the surface of Mars or any other celestial object should be the flag of the United Human Federation. So that later, with the time of development in outer space, this humanoid form of life transformed into a higher stage of existence, turning at least into a galactic republic. All these games and ignorance in relation to their own planet looks quite ridiculous from the outside. Nevertheless, as I said earlier, space is not waiting for anyone and it has its own plan according to which certain civilizations will live or try to change it. What is the most likely future of the universe? galaxies we now see will recede out of sight, one by one. Tens of billions of years from now, the Milky Way will be the only galaxy we'll be able to see. Our sun will have shrunk to a white dwarf star that will provide little light and heat to Earth. Stars will slowly burn out and collapse into black holes. The universe will be a vast, empty, dark and cold place. The main idea of this video is what I call cosmic engineering as the highest creative activity of a particular intelligent life form. Cosmic engineering consists of several levels and can be carried out only by the species that was able to evolve in the immaterial and material dimension of this universe from the first stage of consciousness, see Astral SpaceX video on my YouTube channel, to the fifth stage of consciousness and higher, depending on the level of cosmic engineering. Levels of cosmic engineering, stellar engineering, multiplanetary, galactic and multi-galactic stage of consciousness. The initial form of cosmic engineering. The developed life form gets the opportunity to influence the star systems, model and adjust them in such a way as to create a favorable environment for the prosperity of civilization, civilizations, not only in the material aspect, but also in the spiritual, synthetically adjusting the degree of vibration of a particular planet to achieve higher states of consciousness. Change the size, temperature, fauna, landscape, number of satellites, number of planets, number of stars, edit their properties, etc. Galactic engineering, galactic, multi-galactic and cosmic stage of consciousness. An advanced form of cosmic engineering. The developed life form is able to influence the galaxies and clusters of galaxies, model and adjust them in such a way as to create a favorable environment for the prosperity of civilization, civilizations not only in the material aspect, but also in the spiritual, synthetically adjusting the degree of vibration of all the planets for the constant maintenance of higher states of consciousness. Change the size, temperature, fauna, landscape, number of satellites, number of planets, number of stars, edit their properties, control the flow of black holes, etc., subordinating entire clusters of galaxies to single and individual development algorithms. Cosmic Engineering, the Cosmic Stage of Consciousness, the highest level. Developed forms, life forms are able to subordinate the development and characteristics of entire universes to single and individual algorithms. 
Monitor the performance of all space objects and all galactic clusters, influence and model them, change, adjust and create new physical laws. I described this more generally in my painting, Astral SpaceX, Cosmopolis. I repeat, space is not waiting for anyone and it has its own plan according to which certain civilizations will live or try to change it. The task of this video, as well as several subsequent scenes of the Annunciation in my paintings, is to register in the history of world art an attempt by a creative figure to concentrate the thoughts of his contemporaries around the idea that the highest priority of any intelligent highly developed civilization to one degree or another will be the goal of controlling all astrophysical events in certain universes, as well as editing and updating its parameters by modifying any celestial objects ranging from entire galactic clusters to the formation of the landscape on a selected planet or regulating the temperature of a particular star. In more detail, I will describe each of the phases of the development of cosmic engineering in the following videos.